Right now, there is a lot of controversy going on between Tfue and Twitch rivals. What happened was that Tfue was playing in a Minecraft bingo tournament for Twitch rivals, and his team ended up getting the most points. However, some people realized that Tfue was using something called Fulbright. Fulbright is a mod that adjusts a player's gamma, aka how lit up your screen is. People use it so you do not have to use torches, and it is also easier to see underwater. This mod was considered to be banned by Twitch rivals, and Tfue's team ended up losing 6 points because Tfue used it. This bumped Tifu's team down from 1st to 3rd, and instead the team of Bessie, GHG, Venitro, Gamers Time, and Spark of Phoenix won for the 3rd time in a row. This caused a lot of debate in the community over if Tifu's team should have been penalized or not, and in this video I will be giving my thoughts over what happened. In my personal opinion, I do think it was justified for Twitch rivals to have penalized Tifu for using Fulbright, however I do not agree with the rule and think it should be changed moving forward. First let me explain why I think Twitch rivals was justified in penalizing Tifu. The answer is very simple. Tifu used a modification that Twitch Rivals said you could not use. There is no way around this fact. Some people have said you could go into game files directly and change the gamma that way, but I still think that counts as using a modification. You literally go into the game files and modify them. This is also not some secret rule nobody knew about. Back in July of 2020, a Minecraft Twitch Rivals event took place, and there, Spanish Twitch streamer Alex El Capo accused French Twitch streamer Apier of cheating in Twitch Rivals because Apier used Optifine a mod for Minecraft that makes the game run smoother. APR countered this claim with a screenshot showing that Optifine was allowed for that one tournament. What is important about this screenshot is that it specifically states that Dressing the Gamma is prohibited, which is exactly what Fulbright does. This is not some new rule someone made up out of nowhere to try and sabotage Tifu's team. This is how it has always been. If Tifu did not know this rule, that is his fault. On top of all that, this is literally not even the first time someone has been penalized for using Fulbright, or in this case just modifying Gamma. In the Minecraft Twitch Rivals event back in November, two players, George Not Found and Firebreathman, did the exact same thing Tifu did and they also got penalized for it. Very clearly, this is not Twitch Rivals who went out of their way to mess with Tifu's team. Twitch Rivals had a rule, Tifu broke it, so they penalized them for it. It is also important to note that he did not get completely disqualified, he just went from first to third. However, here's where things started to get complicated. You see, Tifu is not the only person to have used folk right during the Twitch Rivals event. In fact, Tifu's teammate Feinberg went back and looked at all the perspectives, and apparently 8 other players used Gamma as well. This includes Captain Sparkles, Puns, Jeremy Fryzer, Kara Corvus, Juiced, Captain Puffy, Link, T. Jiger, and even A. Pierre, who literally posted the screenshots saying that he could not use Fulbright. If Tifu's team is getting punished, then surely all of these players would have also have to be punished in some capacity. I mean, yeah, they did use a modification that was officially banned by Twitch rivals. And they broke a rule that has been public knowledge since July of 2020. If Tifu gets punished for using Fulbright, then it is only fair that all of those players also get punished. So I have spent pretty much the entire video explaining why Twitch rivals technically should have punished Tifu. I guess all of the other players in the event. However, I think Twitch rivals trying to ban Fulbright is a really stupid and dumb rule, and I'll explain why. In competitive Minecraft, no matter if it is PvP or speedrunning. There is a list of modifications that do technically give you an advantage over other players, but they are considered fair to use. Optifine is the big one that all servers allow, and I already talked about that. Fulbright is another major one. There are certain texture packs that will do things like highlight ores so you can see them through lava, and there are also entire clients such as Lunar and Badline that are filled with quality of life modifications, and these clients are used a ton in competitive Minecraft. All of these modifications do give a small advantage to the player compared to someone that is not using them. However, all of these modifications are, for the most part, considered fair to use on all competitive Minecraft servers no matter what game mode it is. My point is that all of these modifications are specifically used by competitive Minecraft players. So if Twitch Rivals wants to be taken seriously as a competitive Minecraft event, it would only make sense if they allowed their players to use the competitive modifications that are allowed literally everywhere else. By banning all these modifications considered to be fair to use by the entire Minecraft community, you are only making the tournament seem less appealing and more confusing to players and fans alike. So those are my thoughts on the Tifu vs Twitch Rivals situation. What it is worth, I actually really did enjoy watching Twitch Rivals this season. I think the event is super entertaining, and Twitch actually does get some pretty good players to join the event. However, if they continue to have silly rules like ban Fulbright and other competitive mods, I don't think this event will last. Before I end this video, I want to give a brief channel update. I got my wisdom teeth out the same day my Bad Boy Halo video came out, so I could not really work on videos for a week. And now, I'll be working on my next super long video similar to the Cube SMP or just the Hot Dog documentary. This should hopefully be out before April 24th, because then on April 24th I go on vacation for two weeks and will be unable to record any videos again. 
My point is that videos will be slow for a while, so follow me on Twitter so you stay updated with how my content is doing. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.